AEW recently announced that Kenny Omega will face the debuting AAA Mega Champion El Hijo Del Vikingo on the upcoming episode of AEW Dynamite. This caused several fans to criticize the lack of story ahead of this match. So there are many people searching it. Tony Khan said they are not doing it to the genuine. A large percentage of those replies are not from real people. A lot of them are accounts that upon inspection seem to only exist to question and rest in peace WWE and the most of their other content seem to be a cover story to justify the existence of these accounts. Jey Uso said he never trusted Sami Zayn and that he had no choice in the whole bloodline business. Sami told Jey Uso he always wanted to be his friend and that Jey always had a choice. A brawl broke out between the two. Jimmy came to the ring. Sami and Jimmy were colliding and his brother was came for against Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens' music hit and the prized fighter appeared from behind to take down the Usos. KO eliminated the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions from the ring. He then hugged it off with Sami Zayn, burying their hatchet in the process. Jay White has spoken to WWE, but it was not said how far along those talks are. On that note, he is also speaking to AEW. At this point, Jay White is reportedly in a 50-50 situation regarding which company he will choose. AEW and WWE both have things to offer for him, but doing the loser leaves town is wild because if he does sign with AEW, he could still work for New Japan, but I guess he wanted to leave New Japan either way rather than come in for major deals. So did the total exist ang angle before while still talking with both sides. The Undertaker think it is challenging to book a mouse in a way that properly showcases his skills and appeal. Nothing that he is more an attraction than a regular weekly TV performer. And I am really high on a mouse. He is still developing that talent and my gosh what a great human being he is. Actually I am killing him off because he is a bad guy right now. But he is a really nice human being and he is a sponge. He wants to get better. He wants to do all of the things that I look forward. I see somebody that I really want to mentor. But it is difficult because of his size. Conor McGregor's success in the octagon is well documented. As he is the only man to hold a championship in the lightweight and featherweight divisions simultaneously. That being said, it doesn't mean he can beat Roman Reigns. In a match, Conor McGregor recently dropped a huge tease that he could make his way to WrestleMania 39. Paul Heyman saw the tweet and decided to respond to it as he claimed that Roman Reigns would smash him. He would get smashed just like everyone else who dared to oppose the tribal chief, Roman Reigns.